you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel by the grace of God. You are watching me in live program, Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell. Hell live program. The one we used to do every Sunday starting from Sunday. Sunday to Thursday, Sunday to Thursday, Sunday to Thursday, uh, from 9 a.m. Uh, to, to 11, 11, that is the time we close completely. By the special grace of God, we are going into the revelation that God showed to me today by the grace of God. So before we start anything, let us pray. Our everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are the King of glory. You are the Lord of Lord. You are the Holy Potter. You are the Holy Spirit. You are God that He led thee. You are God that He led. You are God that doeth miracles. You say, "Be thou glorified and exalted in Jesus, our Lord and our God." We want to say thank you, and we ask you, Father, that as we are hearing the Word of God, you will open our eyes to see, you open our ear to hear, we touch our hearts to accept the Word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to break every stony heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, today, by the grace of God, we are going to uh we are going into the message. We are going into the message by the grace of God today. And uh, we believe that the Lord also is going to talk, talk to you. In Jesus' name. Ah, uh, today, I mean today, I have some revelation that are very serious. In fact, the revelation I have overnight today are very many that I couldn't write them down. If I know I'm going to have so much revelation like that, I will have all the book with me and be, you know, be jotting it down. But the revelation was coming after chapter to chapter, chapter to chapter. And during the revelation, the Lord showed me some things and told me that has, that should be the message for today. In that revelation, God showed me today. Uh, I see many things which is very serious and which all Christians needed to listen and to hear this truth. If you are watching me now, I don't want you to miss any part at all of the message. Number one thing is this. The Lord said I should preach on uh, the ritualist and the church. The ritualist and the church. In the revelation today, the Lord spoke so deep and explained some things to me. I don't know one of these things. Anytime I just, I don't know, God is using some things to speak to me. But today is a different dimension and time. I was taken in the spirit to go and visit some areas, including the whole world. The Lord spoke to me in that revelation when he was showing me in fact, it was serious. I saw him took me, and he took, he took me around the whole world. So when he took me around the whole world, he took me to see what is going to happen in the future. And I saw that the whole world was scanty. Everywhere was like a desert. I mean this world. Every word, everywhere was like it's the desert. Like somewhere who, like place who there's nothing at all. I, I, people are being reckless. It took me to different places. To the place of death, I see many people being buried. Many people died 
many people is being buried and different kind of things. I see some people, they are not buried. They are just dead and they decay there. I saw different things happening into the world. Every different thing happening. He was just taking me from one place to another. One place to another. And he said something to me. He said, I should warn his people. I should warn them again. I shout it to their ears. So that they can hear it very well. Hear it so clearly and so well. Tell them that only my people will be marked in what is to happen. He said, tell them that only my people will be saved. Only my people will be saved. Only my people will be saved. Then he now showed me some things. He took me in the spirit to some factories where I saw where things are produced. I saw where things are produced in the factory. I got to see that the demonic, in fact, devil has taken control of everything. He has taken control of everything. Many things are... I saw in that revelation that Many of the things people are using now are being produced from the kingdom of darkness. Not only that, there are some companies that is being established in your country, in my country, that it is having name, that you know it is a name. But that company, they will say the director is this and this. But the fact of the whole fact is that the real director of that company is the devil. The Lord said, many destiny has been persist through what they hit and through what they buy. The Lord showed me several things today. Many things, he told me what is happening. I saw how people have been connected. They are just, they are connecting their glory. Some are killed in the spirit. Even in the market square, Marketplace, you went to go and buy something. Dropping your money there alone is a problem. I saw people dropping their money and they enter into covenant, enter into bondage. I saw several things. I saw people going to supermarket. And as they are paying and they are buying something, they are, they are dropping. I saw them dropping their wedding dinner. Then the devil too, he now initiates people in a level that he, he, he influences them and manipulates their brain that the only way to succeed is to become a ritualist. It's not only a way to be only, but also also to be a ritualist in any way. When the Lord was taking me to these areas, it was so pity that I begin to. I look at passing and I see that most of them have been in bondage. In fact, this word is gone. This word is gone. I'm telling you, this word is gone, totally gone. Like it has, it is gone. There's a particular one that God gave me to all the Christians. And I'm still going to tell you now. But let me hold it for now. I saw that this world is completely gone. Most of the people are into captive, into bondage. No wonder the book of Re uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23 says, For the wage of sin is death. When you are committing sin, you will be in the bondage of the devil. Not only that, I see people who are happy. Listen to me. 
I saw a beggar coming to bed. And somebody gave the beggar money. And that person entered into problem. He entered into bondage. Beggar now, Satan said, many areas, innocent places that you believe it is innocent places, are place of the devil. The drinks are manipulated. Drinks you are drinking, they are manipulated. The food they are selling, they are manipulated. There are some things that they have mixed with some drinks and food that it will not react now. It Within one year, it will start reacting. You will not be able to know that, that it was the drinks you drink that day that caused it. I saw many things happening in the world. Now, hear what God said to me now about the Christians. The Lord said, I should warn the Christians. He said, I should warn them so hard that if they are not careful, careful there will also be a victim of these things. They will be victim of these things. He told me to tell every Christian that he did not tolerate sin. He will never tolerate it. It's a zero tolerance. Is zero, not even one. Is zero tolerance. That any Christian that is committing sin will be a victim, will be killed in the process. I am talking to you now. It's as if say you know that something they talk. The Lord said, "I should warn you. Search your life. If anger is your problem, if now word of mouth, some people don't know how to talk." Some people do have respect. Go to their parents or to their husband or to their box in the work, working place. All this kind of thing, the Lord says, I warn you that if you are not careful, you will be victims of those who the devil will be captured at the end. I saw that many things that have been sold. I think that the devil is using to drain the spiritual life of Christians. So, this is what I will tell you. If there, if there is any food you are cooking at home, sanctify it before you eat it. Pray. You buy, you cook yourself, or whoever it might be. Pray to that thing. I saw that the devil has dominated everything. I mean everything. And God warned me, he said, warn my people very well. He said, warn them very well. That only sin will make this thing work in their life. That I have seen them, I have seen some people out of the, uh, I mean the Christians, I've seen them with the seal of salvation with the seal of protection. No matter what happened to them, no matter how the devil might want to rise, it will not penetrate into their lives. But if there is sin in them, in them, it will penetrate. And they will die. That's what God told me. He said, they will die. He mentioned it very well. My ear was hearing it. They will die. They will die. They will die. If they commit sin and they, the money you are collecting from the marketplace or from people, most of them are being enchanted and spell as the cast on it. Do be surprised that Christian can also be used as ritual. It's not what it's what I saw overnight myself. Jesus himself took me to some places myself. He took me up. I was seeing the head like this. He took me up. I was hanging on the sky. 
I was, it was taking me around. I was seeing the head like this. I was seeing everywhere like this. Today, that thing you are buying for your children and you don't know the source, be careful. Many biscuits, many things have been processed, certified them. And make sure you run away from sin because blood will be shed. Too much blood will be shed. Only the unbeliever and only the unbelievers to God now. God believes that anyone who commits sin is an unbeliever to him now, as he was explaining to me. The unbelievers are going to be victim of what is going to happen to them. But those who believe in Christ and fear God and live a righteous and holy life, a life without stain and blemish, are going to be the one who God will save. And if you are not part of them, you, can, you cannot escape it. Whether you like it or not, those places you are going to are already corrupted by the devil. I pray the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. The Lord said that he did, what he wants from you is to live a ordinary precept holy life. Live a righteous life. Don't allow sin to be in your garment so that they will not penetrate inside you. If they don't get to physically, they will get us in, this, in the dream. If you say you're very careful physically in this in the dream, they will come there. Please and please make sure that the right thing is being done. I pray the Lord God will bless you and be with you in Jesus' name. This is the message God said I should tell you all. This word has completely gone. The church you are believing that you are going, most of this church you are seeing, they are demonic churches. Even pastors are, ah, oh God, they are demonic churches. Our people are right there in bondage. They can die anytime. They are already, anybody that is in bondage can die anytime. It's just like, like a chicken that you are, you are, you are, you know, you, you have a chicken and you are giving it food. Even in food, he will be in the cage, he will be enjoying it. Say they bring that food. You can anytime go and take him and go and kill him. Nobody will question him. It's your shaking. So, also the same thing. They can die anytime. But I pray for somebody today that in all this evil thing that is happening in the world, you will not be victim in Jesus' name. God bless you and God be with you. This is the message God said I should give you today. And the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Before you go, kindly subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. And press notification button. And share it to your friend. Tell them that the world is in danger now. The food they buy, the thing they do, those who they help, you will go and help somebody and the person will take your money to a palace. Eh? He will take you to go and, go and cast pear on it so that you will not have again. The world has become too spoiled now. Only, his, only the candidate of heaven will be appointed and will be sealed for protection. God bless you and God be with you. Shalom. Bye.